Hey guys, welcome to Rising Vibrations. This reading is called His Point of View, The Breakup. This is a retrospective per zodiac sign for a male. If a male broke up with you or you broke up with a male, it's looking at his perspective as to why you broke up. This is for time now, all the way back about seven years, believe it or not, because I'm looking at the movements of Saturn through Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. So watch this video if you want to know his point of view as to why you broke up. We're going to go in a bit more detail, but I'll save it for the reading. So anyway, thank you for your support. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the shares. And thank you for hanging in there with me. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. This is the retrospective reading for the Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus male. If you broke up with him or he broke up with you or there was a breakup between now and going seven and a half to eight years back, this is his point of view as to why the breakup occurred. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. We're going to jump into this. We're looking at the karmic energy as to why this break broke up occurred for the Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus elemental sign. What was the energy out there for Sagittarius over the past seven, eight years? We're going to look at what happened, his feelings, his point of view. We're going to look at what you may not know, what actions actually led to the breakup. And finally, we will look at where this is all headed. What could have changed his mind and where this is all headed? And then we're going to close out the karmic energy for that. So this is for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, male. His point of view of why the breakup occurred from a karmic standpoint, why this occurred. We have guilt. There is something very clear coming through that Perhaps the Sagittarius, and this is very stereotypical, but it feels like this, that he was not fully committed to whatever this was in a relationship, even if it was a marriage. And I felt like he was taking up a lot of your time and energy when he knew that he had plans to leave that relationship at some point. I feel like uh, someone is taking up time that they don't want to take. And like he wanted to do you a favor, almost in his mind, he had made this like he's doing you a favor by going now versus later when you had more invested in the relationship. This feels like someone trying to do someone a favor. Uh, this is a Sagittarius sun, moon rising, and Venus male feeling like... Uh, they have some place to go other than where their feet stand, feeling like they have somewhere else to be in a way, feeling like they're missing out and feeling like they have to turn down too many things, them feeling like they do not want to be fixed uh, yeah, and in an essence, them feeling like they do not want to be in a committed arrangement, even if they agree to it. And then there's the guilt of feeling like, I agreed to this, I wanted to be here, but either I really didn't want to be or I don't want to be now. So this is for the Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male, their perspective. So what happened? Past feelings and attitudes. We have a major arcana of the fool. And we have major arcana death. So it's very strong karmic energy here around the Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising male that broke off the relationship. This is a type of balance or diametric calling to feeling like they have to stop this because there's something more waiting for them. 
There's something more that they want, but they're not even sure what it was. Was less about you and more, believe it or not, about them, where they wanted to be uh, in their life, but not really quite knowing where they want or wanted to be in their life. And being, again, very sorry that it looked like they have to end things with you. Um, they were reluctant to do this because they knew they're taking a risk, giving up something good or idea for the unknown. So what actions finally caused the breakup? This is the page of swords. We're going to put that back. What finally caused the breakup for them in their mind? What you may not know. What you may not know. We have Major Arcana, the High Priestess. And we have the King of Wands. So let's just go because it's too much coming through now. So I feel like you already knew that this person was going to be hard to tie down. But you went for it anyway. Even though you knew that they would be hard to tie down. You were hoping for the best in all of this. Even though you knew it would be very difficult uh, to pull this off with this particular Sagittarius male. And he felt like you knew him. You know how I am. You knew how I was. Uh, I, I, he may have even told you that he's not ready to get settled down, but he was moving in the direction of settling down with you. So there's a contradiction here. He's telling you something, but doing something different, giving you the impression everything is going to be okay. Because, yeah, I told you I did not want to move in. I told you that I did not want to get married. I told you that I did not want to be committed. But he's asking and he's agreeing to this. And you're thinking, oh, this will be okay. But somewhere deep down inside of you, you knowing that I, this is off. This is not what he told me, but he's doing it. So you were expecting the other foot to drop. You were expecting the other shoe to drop, excuse me, with this major arcana of the high priestess. Some part of you was expecting this. You knew it wouldn't work. You knew it wasn't going to work. So what would have changed his mind? For the Sagittarius male, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what would have changed his mind? We have the Queen of Cups. I felt like this is begging, or really, this is so crazy. You're begging him to stay. You're really showing him in a very strong way that he's everything to you and he has to stay. Um, this is also some form of manipulation here that he would that would have changed his mind. For instance, using uh, the kids or the fact that you own something together or some type of pressure. This is you unfairly pressuring him to stay could have changed his mind. But this was not you. This was not even your style. I feel like you thought about it, but it just wasn't your style. It's almost like if you want to go, then go. But you didn't really feel that way. You didn't really feel that way, but it would have worked. We have the three of pentacles now also on what could have changed his mind. <sighs> yeah, I feel like this was something that you would not have wanted. This is almost like an open agreement, an open arrangement, uh, but it feels unspoken. You almost ordaining his possibility of going off and doing what he wanted to do but you not fully uh, expressing this, saying this, but it was like an unspoken agreement between you that he would have more freedom to pursue the things he wanted in life uh, and you being very encouraging without putting demands on him. Feels very confused to me. I'm trying to think of an example. Like, oh, if you want to uh, relocate to this new location and I stay here, um, 
and I come and visit you, you can do that. But then you know he's there and he's seeing other people. He's seeing other women. He's living the life of a single guy. But you don't say anything about it. You're, you fully engage and spend time with him, but you don't mention what's going on. It feels like that. So where are all this is headed? And what's your final advice? We're going to pull one more of the karmic cards to close this out. This is where the Sagittarius male, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We have the seven of pentacles. And we have the two of wands. So this is something about you doing you and you pursuing your own goals and aspirations and taking the focus away from him because that's what he's doing. You know, he already got over the guilt of all of this. And it's like now he he bit that bullet. He did it. He got out. It may be a slow start for him of him trying to do the things that he thought he wanted to do, which he wasn't sure about. Because once he was free, he wasn't even sure where he should go with that or where he should take it. So it was a slow start. But now he's he's clear. It's like he's free, he's clear, and he's ready to move on now. So you should do the same. He's almost done thinking about and going over all of this and he's feeling a certain type of relief. He has some sadness, a little bit of guilt, but not really. So here we go for the final closeout for him. We have the fool yet again of the karmic energy. We have the fool now two times. This is more classic. This is feeling a calling, not even sure where or to what. This is taking risk. This is a Sagittarius male feeling like he needs to take a risk. And he always needed to do this, what he's pursuing. I would like to just pull a couple more because I feel like this is all going to come back around again some, somehow. For those of you dealing with that Sagittarius sun, moon rising and Venus energy, I would just like to pull a few more just to see how this is going to play out. We have now the two of cups. With this two of wands and the seven of pentacles. And we have the three of cups. So again, this is this feels like after all of this, that uh, the Sagittarius male wants to now be in a relationship, oddly enough. Um, it's just odd. It seems that they want to be in a relationship now that they get out of the relationship that maybe perhaps being single wasn't all it was cracked up to be or breaking up and moving away from uh, their partner or their family wasn't all that it was cracked up to be they seem to be very much in the immediate future looking at how to recreate this it does not necessarily mean that it's with you uh but they're realizing perhaps it is something that they do want to be a part of their life. And again, trying to figure out how they can have this certain type of independence or an arrangement where they can more or less do what they want to do, but they can also have this foundation or support of a loving partner. They're not even sure how they can pull this off, but it is something that's looming in the background for the Sagittarius sun, moon, rising, and Venus male. Hey, you guys, I hope you liked the reading. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.